Hello guys, welcome to another public domain site discovery video. In today's video we will travel to Europe. I will show you a collection of nearly 14,000 maps of one of the Dutch universities. And in their collections there are about 220,000 works which are in public domain. My name is Shimon and I would like to invite you on a journey of discovering the public domain riches. On this channel I post videos about various sites with public domain works, creating income streams based on out of copyright works, how to tutorials and software reviews. If you are interested in creating passive income streams based on public domain works or selling your print on eBay Etsy, then consider subscribing to the channel, give the video a like, comment or share. Any of these things will go a long way to please YouTube gods and they will help me build up this channel. I also have a Gumroad store where I post mainly video supporting files like lists of sites. So check it out as there is a growing library of files, many of them are free. Alright, without further ado, let's go to this site. All links are in the description field below. These collections are provided by Leiden University Libraries. They have digitized about half a million of works. Once on the site, we can click and browse the featured collections. Or we can dive a bit deeper and search the whole catalog. I will be searching the whole catalog at first. So click on the search box located on the top left corner of the page. By default, one tab says All Collections. Leave the second one empty and hit search. And here we have over 454,000 results. Everything is included here. So if you scroll down just a bit, you will see access restricted. These works are meant to be viewed by university staff or university students. They do require to log in. We can easily filter them out. On the left hand side, we have a few filters. Let's scroll down to the one that says restriction on access. Click the very first, which says download provided. And we are down to nearly 220,000 results. And the rest pretty much depends on your needs. I will get back to the search box and key in maps. Hit search. and. Please bear in mind that once again you will have to click on the download provided just to filter out the restricted items. And we have nearly 14,000 maps to choose from. Let's have a look and scroll down just a bit. I will choose this one. As you can see on the screen, some of the results shown are missing a name and there is only a shelf mark and publication data visible. But once you get into the results, you'll see a lot more of metadata. But before we get into metadata, let's check the map. Like on many other sites, you can use your mouse to scroll and zoom in and zoom out. Alternatively, once you hover over an image, a few controls will show up in the top left corner. The plus is just to zoom in, the minus is to zoom out. The home button resets the view, so once you zoom in a couple of times, you click home and you see the whole map image. That one is to toggle the full page. So down below on the left, we have two buttons. The left one is for download, the right one is for a link to this map. So you basically you can click and copy it. I will click the download one and we are provided with two different files to download. The original master file is a very large file and I believe that's a TIFF file. The second one, that's a JPEG file and it's very small to compare with the first one. Uh, the resolution is still good enough, but I would prefer download the, the master file. Obviously, you won't be able to download many of them because they will use up a lot of space on your hard drive. But in order to download them, you just click and the download dialog box will pop up automatically. Exactly the same thing is happening for the JPEG one. Below the download links, we have much needed approval, uh, which is our license to use the files. You can click on the small graphic in here a new window will take you to the license and this is Creative Commons site. As you see, you are free to share, copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format and adapt, remix, transform and build upon the material for any purpose, even commercially. Uh, however, they say that you must give an appropriate credit or attribution in other words. In the description field, we have a very detailed information 
about the image, its classification. Majority is in English, but some, as you see in here, it's in Dutch. As you can imagine, there will be a lot of maps from previous Dutch colonies. Also, you might want to check Wikipedia for popular or famous Dutch map publishers, both from the past and recent ones, as their maps will be showing here. On top of that, there was a lot of very skilled Dutch cartographers, and they have drawn a lot of beautiful maps. I will give you a hint here. Make another list of the famous Dutch cartographers from 16th, 17th and 18th century and start hunting all the map sites that, that I will be showing. You will find a lot of beautiful maps which were drawn up by Dutch cartographers. I will show you a few maps that I found here. As usual, all links you can find in the description field below. Guide map of Nikko, Japan. 1900. It's quite detailed as well. And that one, the earliest printed map of Barbados, 1657. And that one, a copy from the oldest map of the Fortress of Colombo. And a map of the East Indies and adjacent countries. See, sometimes the stamps they are quite discouraging to from downloading, but that's easily to be removed and edited in Photoshop. So, uh, Seven Mountains in Languedoc, I believe. Languedoc is in France, yeah, that's Paris. Jean Baptiste. A uh, historical chart of decorative map of the island of Curacao. That's one of the Dutch colonies. That's a map of Japan. 1897. And please do not get discouraged because you don't understand Dutch. Open a tab with Dutch to English Google Translator and check whatever you are not getting. Also, if you browse the web in Chrome, use the right button on your mouse and click Translate to English. And that's you. That's pretty much the site will be translated. More or less in 95%. It will save you plenty of time, basically. I will navigate back to the first screen and let's check other collections. I'm interested in anatomy, so I will choose anatomical drawings. And again, I won't put anything in the search. And we have over 150 entries in here. I will show you a few of them. Most of these are sketches, drawings, and there are hardly any color illustrations here. Yet you can still use it for your store or your designs. Especially these ones, they are quite detailed. I will check one more collection and this time let's check drawings. So let's just uh, go to this restriction on access and click download provided. And we've got over 8000 works in here and there are paintings, drawings, uh, silhouettes. Um, book images, all sorts of things in here. And I have chosen a few of them. I haven't checked the full collection. I've, ch I've checked maybe five, six pages. There are typical Dutch houses, a tomb of an unknown woman with silhouette portrait. I found quite a lot of these ones, silhouette portrait. And you can do series of these as well. There are a few pages actually of these. Alexander and his friend Dirk. Uh, let's check the oh, original, so that will be a small file, really small, and a tulip. Let's check how it, yeah, that's another one, that's, that's going to be a really small file as well. That looks like a 
cut out from the book or something a landscape a painting of some sort another another painting with a windmill so guys please bear in mind that we have only checked three collections here and as you can see there are tens of collections to be checked I haven't checked all of them also you can apply many filters to your searches I haven't applied many of them but you can do that in here if you know the author you can just apply the author's filter as you see each of them has a show more so if you just click on show more you can go for the architecture or or just any of these just to filter out something which you don't really need if you know what you're after you can just use these filters they, they are really a time savers here as you know there, there are rare books in here there are also old manuscripts and many more digitized works so go and check these too. If you get any value out of this content, subscribe, like and comment. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.